Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about introduction to dynamic multipoint VPN. So this whole video series, I am planning to cover full TM VPN concepts from CCNA to CCA level. So let's we can see. So DM VPN is a routing technique we can use to build a VPN network with, with multiple sites. So without having to statically configure all the devices. So without having to statically configure all the devices means using DM VPN uh, when spoke one wants to form tunnel from spoke one to spoke two means it dynamically form the tunnel. So that's why you're saying without having statically configure all the devices. So next one, it's an up and spoke network where spoke will able to communicate to another spoke directly. So without sending the traffic to the hub. So spoke to spoke, it can communicate directly without sending the traffic to the hub router. So that one only I mentioned here in this point. So next one, encryption is supported through IPsec. So which means DMVPN a popular choice for connecting different sites using regular internet connection. So and it's a greatest backup or alternative to a private network like MPLS VPN network. So there are four pieces to DMVPN puzzle. So first one, multipoint GRE, next to resolution protocol, routing and IPsec. So routing, we all of them are know about RIP, EHRP, YSPF and BGP. So while we are configuring DMVPN in top of that one, we have to use some routing protocols. So that we can see on separate video session and IPsec. So IPsec is not required, but it's a recommended. So for an example, in production network, uh, I have one head office and two branch office. So the connectivity will be like in head office also I'm using some internet connection and branch office also I'm using internet connection. So through the internet connection only I have to connect head office to branch office 1 and 2. So that time our data will be sending through over public network. So that time IPsec is mandatory for securing our data. So that's why it's recommended in production network. Okay, so next one multi-point GRE. So in regular GRE tunnel or point to point and don't scale well, it's not a scalable solution because why means for an example, this is my scenario, example scenario, I have head office and three branch office. So all of them are connected through the internet. If I'm using regular GRE tunnel, we can create separate tunnel interface. For an example, my requirement is head office to all the branch office, we have a tunnel interface and a branch office 1 to branch office 2 I have a separate tunnel interface and branch office 2 to branch office 3 I have to separate tunnel interface. So that means from head office to branch office 1 I have to create separate tunnel interface and I have to configure source and destination IP address and etc. And head office to branch office 2 also I have to build separate tunnel interface and I have to configure source and destination IP address and etc. And head office to branch office 3 also I have to configure separate tunnel interface and I have to configure uh, source and destination IP address and etc. So same like branch office 1 to branch office 2 and branch office 2 to branch office 3. So the configuration will be in very high and also there are uh, easy to mess up the configuration. So that one only I mentioned here what I explained in the previous slide. So above we have your one router that represents the head office and there are three branch offices. Let's say that we have the following requirements. Each branch office has to be connected to the head office and traffic between branch one and branch two has to be tunneled directly and traffic between branch two and branch three has to be tunneled directly. So this is the scenario logically. So head office and branch office. So the red color dotted lines is represents the VPN tunnel. So here we can see one, two, three, four, five. So totally five tunnels are required if you are using regular GRE tunnel. So we have to create multiple tunnel interface and we have to set source and destination IP address and etc. So it will work, but it's not a very scalable solution. So that's why we are going for multi-point GRE. So the name itself, it mentioned multiple destination. So when we use them, our picture could look like this. So here we can see if you are using multi-point GRE, 
there is only one tunnel interface for each router and multiple destination so in the diagram itself here we can see in head office only one tunnel interface through that single tunnel interface it will be connected to branch office 1 branch office 2 and branch office 3 so when we use GRE multipoint there will be only one tunnel interface on each router so head office for example one tunnel with each branch office as a destination so now you might wondering what about the requirement where branch office 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 have a direct tunnel so right now we are using hub and spoke topology and the cool thing about dynamic multipoint vpn is that we use a multipoint gre so we have a multiple destination so when we need to tunnel something between branch office 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 we automatically built a tunnel so that one only I mention in this point so when there is a traffic between the branch office we can tunnel it directly instead of sending it through the head office router but it introduces some problem so let's we can see so this is my scenario so the green color dotted line represents a dynamic tunnel so using dynamic multipoint vpn it dynamically form the tunnel between branch office 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 so that's why i show it in uh, in diagram format so when we configure point to point so when we configure point to point GRE tunnel we have to configure source and destination ip address that are used to build a tunnel GRE tunnel so when two branch router want to tunnel some traffic so how do they know the ip address to use how they know what ip address to use let me show you what i am talking about so this is my scenario and uh, orange color IP represents the public IP and uh, GRE multipoint tunnel interface I am using 172.16.1.0.24 network so head office 172.16.1.1 is a private IP and 172.16.1.2 is a private IP and 1.3 also private IP for branch office 2 and head office public IP is 111 and branch office 1 public ip is 222 and branch office 2 public ip address is 3333 so that one only mentioned here internet has a public ip address head office branch office 1 and branch office 2 and this is the private ip address what we are using for multipoint gre tunnel head office branch office 1 and branch office 2 so let's say what we want to let's say we want to send a ping from branch office 1 tunnel interface to branch office 2 tunnel interface has what GRE encapsulated IP packet will look like this so this is a GRE encapsulated IP packet so this is the data so next one the green color source and destination is a inner source and inner destination that should be an tunnel interface IP and private IP so branch office 1 private IP is 172.16.1.2 and branch office 2 private IP is 172.16.1.3 next one GRE header next to one red color mark this source and destination is a outer source and outer destination so this is a public ip using this ip only our data will be routed through internet connection so from head office to branch office through the internet the packet will be routed through this source and destination ip to reach the branch offices so source 2.2.2 .2 is a branch office 1 public ip and what is the branch uh, what is the public ip for branch office 2 so as a network administrator i know the all the public ip address and private ip but branch office 1 router how they know what public ip the branch office 2 is using so once the branch office 1 router will know then only it form the tunnel dynamically so here that's my question so that one only i mentioned here the inner source and destination ip addresses are known to use these are the ip address of the tunnel interface we encapsulated this ip packet put it in gre header in front of it when we have to fill the outer source and destination ip addresses so that this packet can be routed through the internet branch office one router knows its own public ip address but it has no clue what the public ip address of branch office 2 is so this is the question so to fix this problem we need some help from the another protocol so that one is an next op resolution protocol so using next op resolution protocol branch office one 
figure out the public IP of branch office 2. Once you figure out that public IP, the branch office 1 dynamically form the tunnel between the branch office 1 and 2. Okay friends, I hope you can like this video. If you have any queries, please comment me in the below comment section. I will reply to your query. And thanks for watching my video and subscribe my channel for further updates. So in next video session, I am going to explain next door resolution protocol. Until this, have a nice day. Bye.